Hey YouTube, it's Tyler the Antenna Man here to give you guys the heads up that the price of YouTube TV is increasing from the current $50 a month rate to about $65 a month. It's about a 30% increase. In this video, I'm going to tell you why this rate increase is happening and what you can do to save money if you are a YouTube TV subscriber. If you've followed my YouTube channel, you'll notice that things look a little bit different. I'm currently in the process of making a new studio. I just don't have the equipment yet. So in the meantime, enjoy the plain background. And if you are seeing me for the first time, make sure you hit that subscribe button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Many people are probably quick to blame YouTube TV for the rate increase, and they do have part of the blame, but the rate increase comes as a direct result of YouTube TV adding Viacom channels such as MTV, Nickelodeon, Comedy Central, BET, and some others. Streaming services like YouTube TV are in a very tough position where they have to decide between adding certain channels and not adding them and then some people won't subscribe to the streaming service because they're missing channels. What probably happened to YouTube TV was people complained, oh, you don't have MTV, you don't have Nickelodeon, you don't have Comedy Central, and they got enough complaints to the point they said, okay, we have to add these channels, but Viacom is charging them for the rights to carry those channels, just like any content provider would. And that cost gets passed on to the consumer, you if you're subscribed to YouTube TV. A few months ago, I reviewed YouTube TV on my channel and I've seen the comments. Numerous people complained that they didn't have the Viacom channels. Well, for those of you that asked for the Viacom channels, you got them, but you also got a price increase. I've had to say this in numerous videos of mine, and I will keep saying this. The price of over-the-top streaming services such as Hulu Plus Live and YouTube TV are going to go up as people request more of their favorite channels, the streaming services add those channels, and then the content providers charge for those channels. There's no in-between. The price is going to keep going up. Don't believe me? Look what I said over a year ago. The trend is probably gonna keep creeping up. It's gonna eventually probably go to 55, then $60 a month, then $70 a month, maybe in a few years. Next thing you know, you're paying the same price you were paying before you drop cable. So what can you do if you have YouTube TV and don't wanna fork out $65 a month for the streaming service on top of your internet bill? One option you do have is to supplement your local channels with a good antenna setup and opt for a skinnier service such as Sling TV or Philo TV. Philo TV starts at $20 a month and Sling TV starts at $30 a month. Of course, there aren't local channels on the streaming services, but I really want to stress the importance of having a good antenna setup. It's a one-time fee and will pay for itself in less than a year. Even if you're only saving maybe $20 or $30 a month, by getting an antenna and going with a cheaper bundle, such as Sling TV or Philo TV, those savings will really add up over time. Are you going to get every single channel that you enjoyed from YouTube TV on Sling TV and Philo? Probably not. There probably are going to be a few stations missing that you are used to watching. What you have to ask yourself is, are those channels worth it? If there were two channels missing on Sling TV that you got on YouTube TV, but the savings is $35 a month, you really have to ask yourself, are those two channels worth $35 a month, about $400 a year? I think for most of us, they are not worth it. Now time for a rant. Personally, I feel that most of what's on TV is mindless entertainment. I don't think it's worth paying for. Like, I get there are some programs that people love to watch, and yeah, if you wanna pay, you know, $30, $40 a month, that's not bad, but I think it's starting to hit a point where if someone's paying $100 a month just to sit in front of a screen, it's just kind of weird to me. Hopefully I didn't offend too many of you by saying that, but I really feel that the country has a major TV addiction. It's as if some people need certain channels to survive and there is no option in the universe to not have them. Guys, it's just a bunch of moving pictures on a screen. It's not that bad. Get it for free with a good antenna setup. Don't fork over your hard-earned money to multi-billion dollar corporations that do not deserve a penny of it. 
Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. And again, if you have YouTube TV, just note that there is a price increase coming. And definitely look into getting a good antenna setup and learning to live without certain channels if you're paying $65 a month for them. If you're on Facebook, follow my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash antennamanpa. If you're not on Facebook, feel free to subscribe to my email list. I attach a link in the description of this video. Thank you all for bearing with me. I know this is kind of plain, but believe me, it's going to look a lot better pretty soon. Thanks again for watching and have an awesome day.